What's up guys, it's Andres, and it's Wednesday again. This means One Up Wednesday once again. Um, today, uh, I'm going to be doing Evernote as the application. Uh, not many people know about this, and the people that do don't really know what it can do. So first, I'm going to show you their website. Let's go here. If you go to their website, it actually tells you everything that it can do, and this is how I actually figured it out. I installed it a long time ago, but... I just didn't know what it would it the possibilities that it had, so I just never I just deleted it because I was like, oh, this is boring. I can find something better. But actually, this is actually a pretty good application. Um, let's open it real quick, and then I'll show you what it has inside. <laughs> so this is how it is. It has you can make notes right here. I have these. Like this is a. Uh, like essay I did for one of my classes that I actually did on my iTouch. I'll show. You, I'll tell you how it syncs between iTouches and stuff like that. This application works best if you have an iTouch or an iPhone because just I mean you can put stuff on here and go online on another computer somewhere else and get it. But if you're on the go and you need something, you can just put it on the on Evernote and get it on your iTouch, which is pretty awesome. But so let's make a, mu a new note right here. I'm just gonna name it uh, one up ones. I'm trying to type with one hand, so I might. And I'll just put something in here like, "Hello." And then what it after you're done with it, it shows you a little preview right here, and you can just sync, and it syncs to the website, so you can go online and look it up on online, or it should be on my touch now. So you can sign in from right here from their main website. And you can just sign in and it gets everything here. It tells you what what's on and stuff like that. It was Windows, iMac, iPhone, iPad, iTouch, Android, Blackberry, Mo Windows Mobile, Palm Pre. But the really great thing is that I'll show you on here where it tells you. Right here. You see how it says you can make nodes, you can scan things. And it will recognize words. For example, here, things to do in Kyoto. I don't know, but uh, let's say you scan that from your computer and you put it on Evernote and you search for things to do in Kyoto. And it will know the words. Um, I've already tried doing it. Uh, for example, on this one, I, it's right here it says, Resources on this note are indexed, so let's see if I search for. See? It knows my words, so categories. So, in the text, of course, this is not an actual note that I wrote, but it's still like, it's just, a, it's a picture. Like, I don't know if I can show you, but it's a picture, it's not. An actual you can since I have a free account you can actually put like word documents or presentations or anything like that into Evernote unless you have a premium account so um, you can put like PDFs or pictures or just text uh, and this is a PDF right here so that's pretty nice of course PDFs you can no it knows the worst but I think it's pretty cool because this is just a picture I don't know if you can see but just believe me, it's a picture. But, um, so I've I already synced it. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks on the iTouch. So you know that it does sync, it's already synced and everything, I just showed you that it's synced. So it's like that, so here I'm gonna show you the application. So you can see, there's the the note that we made on the computer. And then here's like a PDF file of it. Here's a PDF file as you can see. So you can just go through it and look at what you need. Now search notes. I showed you on the computer.
we've also the present the picture that I showed you because um, it knows the words in the in the in the picture. So it's loading. How long this is gonna take? Okay, finally, and there it is. The note that said that has category in it. Now, as you can see, the name has nothing to do with anything like that. It says need to know this because it's for my it was for my test, but it recognized what's inside. So, um, you can also look by places, so it shows you where where it is. I have only done uh, notes from this place, so it only has one. But if you go to the main one right here, it either has text, camera roll, and voice. You also can do favorites or sync it again. So here it shows you everything about your your thing. And that's pretty much it for the application on here. And so now we go back to this page over here. And I can show you there's like trunk, which more applications that can go with Evernote. So you can go look through that. And this is pretty much it guys. This application, I mean, you have eyesight notes too. You can do pictures. You can scan things and it'll recognize them. And that's the beauty of this. I think this application has a lot that you can use and it will definitely help you. But people don't actually know about it. So they can't use it. So hopefully I kind of help you guys. And I think this is really good because when I, I just put this schedule on my iTouch, and whenever I needed it, I didn't have my computer with me or anything like that. I could just pop it up and I could read it. And I, I was going to do this for most of my other, like for most of my other classes, but I haven't done it yet because I'm lazy. But it's a great tool. Like I can just type a document on my class and then just come over here and copy it and put it into an actual word. So I thought that was pretty nice. And since it does not take word or presentation or anything like that, you can just, I just made for this one, it was a, it was a dark word document, but I just made it into a PDF. So it worked out good. But that's it, guys. Um, stay tuned for more. I'll be posting a video this weekend, I think. And then next week, I will show you guys something really cool that you can modify to uh, show your computer and uh, a little bit by yourself before your, your computer even turns on. So stay tuned for that. And peace out, guys. See you next week.